Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. I'm Peter Moxon, Keeper of the Archives, and the last time we did uh, the train mission. Uh, the Confounding Light, I think it's technically called. I know it is the train mission, though. So theoretically, we should be about to go to the alien battleship. So let's go over to engineering for a moment. Uh, let's see, Alloys 1. Shit. Glad to have more help down here. So much for that, then. I was hoping I could build a uh, single heavy laser before we go in there. Whoops. Oh, and five credits. So yeah, double not doing that. Okay, fine. And we have one soldier injured, and it's our main support. So we're going to be on secondary support. Probably double sniper since they both have squad sight. Let's actually see if we get the mission, though, first. Alien base assault. Commander, we can begin working on a way to access the alien base as soon as you give the word. Oh, that's that's what the skeleton key. Why is it there? Wait, what? No, no, no. It was in like some mountains or something. Whatever. Okay. I mean, nice. We don't have the uh, battleship yet. Okay. Sectoid autopsy. Codename, Roswell. Because of course it is. Uplink targeting, aim, available for manufacturers. That's uh, one of the interceptor upgrades. We found no discernible genetic variants between any of the small humanoid aliens that have, that, 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 that have been examined thus far. They are perfect genetic copies, each and every one of them. The subject's brain is quite sizable with respect to its body, and appears to have been augmented even further with cybernetic implants of some kind. Considering the fragile nature of this creature's physical form, it is safe to assume that these implants were intended to somehow improve the combat effectiveness of the species. Dr. Shen and the engineering team have already developed several theories as to how we might be able to adapt these implants for our own use. Additional tactical information may be available in the field when viewing hostile targets in the unit analysis view. Huh? What? Additional tactical information. I think that you need to unlock that in the foundry. Because that's, uh... There's a thing that's associated with being able to do that. Dr. Valen's personal note. Cloning, genetic manipulation, biomedical implants. The implications of this technology and the alien's motives are not reassuring. that module during interception to provide an accuracy boost. Cool. Whoops. Ah, there's the armor upgrade. Oh, we want that quickly. You're still on two days. I think the Muton Autopsy gets you plasma grenades, which is the direct grenade upgrade. Uh, and it makes it so that, like, cars and such explode immediately on explosion, as opposed to ticking over for one turn. And they just do more damage. Ooh, those are slow, but they unlock the, the plasma stuff. Okay, so... That must be different, because we have... uh Yeah, we have one alloy, but we have 40 fragments. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's go ahead and go for this, because it's slow, but that gets us the tier. One mission, and we're going to unlock this, though. Okay. I will fully admit this is almost this is almost likely the wrong call here. Because it's going to take so long, and we could do so much other stuff. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll do the goddamn autopsies. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Again, I'm pretty sure that eventually the autopsies just become instant, but seriously, getting plasma grenades quickly is essentially the main upgrade for the heavy outside of the actual weapon upgrades and i suppose armor upgrades like the carapace but since we have no money we're basically flat broke on all of our resources cool 
Muton Autopsy. Got us nothing because we don't have the Foundry yet, I think. Codename Nero. Why? Oh, whatever. Standing well over two meters tall, the ratio of this subject's lean muscle to the rest of its body mass is staggering. Its bones are highly durable, yet very light in weight, and it seems to lack extra muscular fatty tissue of any kind. There is no part of this subject that has not been genetically engineered for combat. These mutons, a moniker given by the troops, have clearly been bred and modified from birth, with every enhancement contributing to its function as a sort of organic tank. As such, the mutons are capable of withstanding otherworldly amounts of damage and seem to have an incredible tolerance for pain. And that is one of the reasons why I killed that one so quickly. During the autopsy, we also noted a variety of ritualistic markings and, un and unusual tattoos, which imply some sort of past tribal structure among the muton species. We've also noticed a number of distinct similarities between the genetic structure of the muton and floater specimens. Although I can only guess as to the alien's intentions, it certainly appears that the floaters may have at one time been mutons themselves. If the aliens have been experimenting with the, mutons phys with the muton physiology, perhaps the floaters are a byproduct of their less successful attempts at genetic manipulation. We may be able to gain further insight into this creature's combat capabilities by targeting another example in the field in the unit analysis view. Okay, they really want us to do that, I guess. Obviously, still can't do shit here. Uh, want to say you're an armor upgrade or something? Uh, poison grenade or poison resistance? One of the two. I think I need to do this for the uh, super special armor. Fuck it. So much a waste of time, but I want to do it. <laughs> Commander, there's a priority one transmission coming in from the council. Is it the battleship? <laughs> yup, I recognize that name. Council mission, Gangplank. With the hacked signal in place, the alien battleship is vulnerable. And now is the time to strike. We need you to deploy a squad and set down on the ship's surface. This is a rare opportunity to retrieve the technology within that ship intact. We shouldn't waste it. Also, have four people for doing this, I guess. Uh, I don't think that my support's back yet. Whoops. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Clear all y'all out, just that I know what's here. Heavy. Sniper. Support. Assault, Sniper, and I guess we're doing a second Heavy because we sure as hell ain't taking a rookie on this one. Okay, you have what you need. Scope, med kit, uh, right, 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 uh, clear you for a moment. Alright, does that auto, uh, let's check if that auto unequips. Edit, loadout, it does, okay. This is the kind of mission where I don't think we want to drop the med kit uses. So let's keep the med kit on the support here. And yeah, sure, I guess go ahead and give the assault the arc thrower because he's the one who's most likely to be up close and personal. Granted, again, I need to remind myself, run and gun does not work with uh, items. Uh, edit. Load out. Okay, you're on laser. You're on laser. You're on laser. You only have one laser sniper, right? Yes. And then you're a heavy, and you're a heavy, so you got standard. Okay. And I have no other promoted units, so I don't. So I can't take anything other other than a rookie. And I'd probably prefer to have a second heavy, uh, especially at the at the lieutenant level rather than a rookie who has a who has a laser rifle. Laser rifles are good. Upgraded units are also good. Okay. Simple decision process at least. Let's go.
I'm gonna assume there's gonna be a cutscene here. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We're heading into China for the next operation. That's all you got, Bradford? <laughs> okay. Yeah, just land on the fucking alien craft and kill everything so we can take their shit. <sighs> Sky took care of the delivery, but now comes the hard part. If we're going to set that battleship down intact, we'll have to start by disabling the power conduits positioned across its surface. There's no telling what we're going to find up there, but we should expect heavy resistance from the alien forces manning that ship. Objectives updated. Uh, I think we need to turn all the conduits off? Whatever. Honestly, we aren't going to trigger anything on the first turn here, uh, just by opening this door, so go ahead and do that. So that gets us vision to this, but there's, like, a lot of verticality in this room. Uh, you... Go ahead and move the snipers up to here. Realistically, this is not where the snipers are going to stay. They're going to need to move up to, like, here to get good sight in this room and then kind of haul ass to get to the exit over here, I think it is. For now, though, just uh, make sure everyone gets to go on Overwatch as much as possible. Just in case I am wrong, because that would be bad. I don't want to bother overwatching you. I'm scanning. Just received some intel that hostiles are advancing on your location. Ready up. Cool. Let them come to me. Not a problem. Okay, so we know the sectoid went on to overwatch, but we also saw the sectoid is halfway across the damn map from us, apparently. So, I'm not gonna be too worried about that. Here they come. Oh, thank God. The conduits positioned on the surface of that battleship are tied directly into the ship's power grid. If we can disable the conduits or destroy them with explosives, it should put that thing out of commission, allowing us to seize its cargo without the risk of collateral damage. Ah, uh, yes. Use explosives, no collateral. Anyway, uh, like I mentioned before with, with the last mission or two where I, was, where I was basically going, oh, I remember this being so difficult. Uh, whether because I did the, the main story stuff so quickly, let me put myself back on screen here. Whether I did because, whether because I did the main story stuff so quickly or just because I'm on an easier difficulty, I don't quite know which. I'm used to there being a lot of chrysalids on this map. So just having it be a thin man, Cool. I will take the game being easier than expected. Kill. Dead and gone. Yeah, realistically, I want you to just kind of go down in center, probably. So go ahead and just go here for now. Since nothing's revealed yet, I was trying to get a sniper on this corner. What? Oh, hi. Whoops. I'm gonna put you here then. At least give you half cover, I guess. Oh, and Overwatch, whoever can. Eyes peeled, strike one. Opposition is headed towards you. Repeat. Hostiles approaching your position. Cool. I heard us move. Okay, so this might take an overwatch shot. Yep, reaction. And it hit, god damn. I can't even be that mad at that. That's just an excellent shot. 
As a reminder, elevation does make a difference. That that was really unlikely. Let's see. You're a good one, right? Yeah, you got the laser. Go ahead and try to feed kills to her because if we can get a uh, nice, if we can get a uh, max level sniper, that's just the sooner we can get max level units, the better. It is full cover. May not be smart, but it's full cover. Weapons free. Yeah, like that. I think dash. I think that dashes reduce the likelihood of the uh, reaction shot hitting, though. By the power of nice. Okay, so we need you there to, to touch that, but then we leave through, like, over here and such, so we can kind of just go over here. Ever, uh, to get up, we need to go in, and then, yeah, that, okay. So let's go here, then. Because the room's pretty well revealed at this point, so we're not likely to have any hidden aliens. Maybe don't go through the poison cloud. And no one's on Overwatch, but at, but the only thing we know of at the moment is a sectoid on the other side. So I don't think we're in too much Hostiles danger. Are headed your way, strike one. Prep for contact. Hi. Probably that sectoid. Oh, hi there, sectoid. Okay, that one on Overwatch, which isn't great. What? Oh, you. Commander, whatever you just did seems to have stirred up the hornet's nest. The aliens are going to throw everything they've got at us to protect that ship. I'm actually going to overwatch a lot on this, because both of the sectoids are on overwatch, but they're also both not currently visible. So to shoot them, I would need to reveal them and trigger their overwatch first. So instead, I'm just going to overwatch everyone. Overwatch. Now these three, I'm not entirely sure. So we're gonna start by putting you here. On Overwatch. There's no full cover really, so uh, I think that just in order to keep everyone safe, go ahead and just do this. He's really like unlikely to actually shoot at anyone, but just in case. Yeah, there's no cover on the side there. Yeah, let's hope that no one takes a shot at him. Three reactions to kill. Yeah. The, the uh, laser rifle is the one that got the kill there. That's actually not ideal because we... Oh, okay. Please? Oh, no, you missed already. Okay. Uh, it looks like a no. Yeah. Damn it. The enemy is still alive. <laughs> Come on, Chang. Damn it. That one was lucky. This time. I mean, you just you just ran through three Overwatches. I can't be too upset at you. I thought I saw him topple over for a moment. I've got three medkit uses. And get the kill. Kill confirmed. Cool. Okay, so you're down by three. You're down by two. Neither of those is emergency level. But let's go ahead and be a little bit proactive. Cause cause heals are still for four at this point. So just Oh, God, it's difficult to see. Go here. Heal him. Go. Man up and get back out there. I'll leave the two damage for later, or I'll, I'll leave it just as damage. 
because two revives, I could reasonably see needing one, and I don't want to accidentally have that be, like, my last usage of a heal. Overwatching everyone. So there's no one up here. Just go over here. I was expecting you to go around, but whatever. Might as well go ahead and just get up top. And here's the part of the map where the snipers just haul ass to catch up in like two or three turns. Um, oh, right, the other sniper already went. I couldn't switch to another unit, and normally that means that either you're on your last action or you found an alien. And the latter was very not good. Okay, other sniper, start hauling ass. Just not even bothering with cover, just go as straight a line as possible. Go ahead and reload. Load. Get over here, I guess. Load. Move up here. And reload. Okay, people got ammo again. Most of the group is all grouped up. The ideal is actually get a sniper up here or such. So oh, okay. Can't blue move you up, so let's put you on this. Because the downside is that by going here, we're going to reveal, like, all of this room at once. You know, high elevation, half cover? Sure. Let's see if I die. I need to save. God damn it. Contact. Okay, we're gonna do this real quick. And then we're gonna do this real quick. Yay! Okay, and do we have vision? We have vision of basically the entire room aside from, okay. No, uh, it's really difficult to see, but there's kind of an obstruction here. And that's the door leading out and there's one on either side if I remember correctly. I'm gonna not do that actually. I could full I could yellow move him to full cover and then be prepared to press the button next turn. The, the off button on this thing. But there is a bit of a risk of him getting vision down into here and revealing something. And I'm not really set up to fight anything else right now. So we're just gonna blue move Overwatch. into Overwatch. Bye -bye. Nothing's revealed yet. Let's go ahead and get these guys into at least cover. I think that's out of the poison cloud. You a bit further back, so we have a second overwatch at least. I'm covering that area. Yeah, there's the door I was talking about. Position, strike one. Eyes open, people. Hello, sectoid. Really? Oh, there we go. That conduit is disabled. Keep moving, strike one. Whoops. Okay, so we didn't quite perfect that because we destroyed it instead of turning it off. I think we lose a little bit of a reward at the end of the mission, but whatever. Hi, Chrysalid. I'm going to do this because this is one of our highest damage options. 100% chance. You know what? Headshot. 50% chance of a crit, 7 damage on crit. And still 100% chance. Oh, disabling shot is here. Oh, whoops. Whatever. Please crit. Dead and gone. Okay. Dead in the water here. It said maximum 7 damage. How did you do 12? <laughs> I'm not gonna argue it, but how? <laughs> okay, those two are on Overwatch. And you know what? I have four goddamn rockets. 
Goodbye, alien battleship. I'm ready to I'm, I'm ready destroying this arena. I have three goddamn rockets, by the way. Oh, I could have. Uh, wait, wait. How how far do you go? How far? Uh, okay, I couldn't have quite uh, in interrogated the chrysalid. <laughs> God, the fact that the thing you need to do in this game is absurd. I'm pretty sure the, the cloud is on this side. Good. I'm on the prize. You know, with the sniper here, and with all of them there, I feel like I probably could have taken out those two sectoids without a rocket. Oh well. Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. A little bit worried about where that cloud technically is. It looks like it's not on this tile, though, so go ahead. I'll handle it. Yeah, just breathing in some of the fumes. Go ahead and go over here. Can't overwatch this turn as a result, but whatever. Realistically, when you're getting to the end of these rooms, it's not so much an right. issue of uh, setting up Overwatch. On. Just blue moving so we can reload. Good to go. In fact, let's go ahead and do another round of reloads on everyone. I am just that we are definitely full up on ammo when we go into this next room. Enemies in sight. Shit! That's really bad, actually. And elevation. Revisit you in a moment. Really just you, okay. you over here because uh, the Thin Men have a um, acid spit attack, and it might already get two of the, uh, these two. Please, please, please. No. Okay. Damn it. Looks like he took cover. I'm not sure if he even can get a shot from there. Okay, can. Six damage critical, but he's a heavy and a decently high level, so that's not actually too bad. They are moving around the side. Yeah, even squad site doesn't get that asshole. 71%. Good, okay. That is actually like one of the big reasons why I don't like this map and the one or two other that have kind of a similar-esque design. You can just sneak by a couple of tiles here where you can see through what is otherwise essentially a solid wall. And it's like, that happens often enough that it actually seems like it's intentional, but it sure doesn't feel great. I'm suddenly real glad that I didn't use this earlier. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Okay, so both heavies are two HP down, not terrible. I'm like, this is gonna be the best. I'm trying to get like sight through this door. You're currently on yellow, so go ahead and reload. Move to here. Got no sight. Reload. Just right down fucking middle. Overwatch. Okay, open the door. Sure, o open the door, someone. That's that's one of the jank bits of having so many units close together. Okay, full cover against us. Basically just gonna try to take shots with whoever's got them, just to try to take them out early. Okay, got a coin flip, not that bad. Or not suit not seriously unexpected is what I might say. 
three. Yeah, it didn't quite destroy our cover, but not doing great. You can't get a read on that thing. It's ah, so shit. Inconsistent. Okay, this just got more serious. Okay, we do have... What is the actual... Um, okay, it's not going to tell us the effect, but it's essentially more damage against uh, robotic enemies. Absolutely worth. Shred it so it takes more damage. Really? You don't have vision of this thing. God damn it. Frag can't quite reach. I want to say full cover is our best option, but I don't... I don't think that it's likely to fly over this gap. I don't think I've ever seen it do that. Okay, don't have any sight. Going to Overwatch. With Laser Sniper, I'm going to say Overwatch as is. We're not in cover. That is dangerous. But I think it's our best option here. What else we got? Just you. Now, this is extreme greed. This is so fucking stupid. I want you and or you to like run up to this cover or something so that we can run you up here and use the arc thrower. It's so not going to happen, but I want to see if it works. Right, I know it would work. I want, I want to try to make it happen. X-rays are making their way to your position. Shot against ah, you. Six damage crit. Doesn't feel good. Did you just do nothing? Okay. This is getting worse. I'm absolutely willing to send a rocket down that... Hi. What? Oh, oh, it's our turn. Okay. Game. What? Are we good? Hold on. Okay, I can do this. Does it pull me back? It does keep pulling me back. Okay. Okay, come on. That's the start of the mission. Sorry about this, folks. Uh, I I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm holding D at the moment. Okay, uh, escape. I'm going to save here. I'm going to pause the recording and uh, save and return into the game, and hopefully that'll fix it. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back. My apologies there. Um, okay, let me try to explain a little bit here. By the way, in case you're seeing this, yeah, we were backed up a little bit. I don't care that I got surprised. I actually welcome the uh, challenge and uh, the worry of fucking everything up. The reason we're back here is because of this. Here is, wait a minute, that's Confounding Light. That's the train mission. And here's the same day, a little bit earlier. Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, but then here's two. That's also, both this and this are later than this. And here's Black Spark, which actually, um, that's not the mission we're currently on. We're currently on Purple Bell, because here are this, here's the save I just loaded to get here. I don't know how the hell these, these saves are structured, but it, it like fucked up slightly or something. And as a result, I actually cut the, this original recording, started up the game again, started into this same mission, its save is this one, because uh, I saved at the very beginning to check if the save existed or not, and that's how I found the out of orderness. I'm really confused by it, but at least now I know that the game saves. Cool. 
Okay, what do we actually have available? Uh, sniper has moved. I think this is the one where the where the other sniper was able to get basically. I thought, I thought that said 99 before. It absolutely did. I have no idea what changed. This episode is just cursed, apparently. Cool. Okay, we can now work on previous knowledge, actually. So if we go here, is that actually going to start any sectoid stuff? No. In that case, Overwatch. Because now we know there are sectoids coming. And we also know there's a chrysalid down here, actually. I know. Um, what's the movement of range of a chrysalid, actually? Uh, I have a very dumb idea in mind, suddenly. Oh, right. Uh, let, me take, let me take this off off screen. Boop. Still not revealed. Okay. Roger that. Scanning. I feel like I move you here because I because the chrysalid is going to move up here, and I don't know its exact movement range, but I think it would require a full dash to get up to here. I might be able to arc throw a chrysalid is what I'm saying. Is it smart? Hell no. Is it fun? It's terrifying. Come get some. Okay, sectoids. Come on. God, we suck. No, that is not target. Oh, our Oh god. I'm starting to choke on my own spit. <laughs> our turn. Yeah, the other one is just out in the open, so let's just go ahead and get the kill here. And hey, we get to save a rocket this time. Five. I have eliminated the target. Okay, since you're the one we want up here, let's go ahead and try to put you like here to get vision. Still no. And sure, I'll put you here for one turn. I hope we don't get vision over here, actually. Uh I'll put you here to try to block that. I don't want what? I... What? How is there no chrysalid? <laughs> Whatever. For now, just move you here. That way, if the chrysalid teleports in or something, and I just missed that because it was off-screen in the last attempt, then we can still get here and uh, get the arc thrower from that. Roger, I got my eyes on. Granted, that might, you know, kill the chrysalid, but... I'll take a dead chrysalid over a dead soldier. Reload there. Uh, you're on yellow, so just reload. Yeah, you're one down, so go ahead and move watch the side. Yeah, it's gonna teleport in, isn't it? I forgot I have to damage it first, actually. Okay, still gotta damage it first, because 3 HP is the max you can arc thrower. Six damage would be enough. It's like five to seven, I think. Wait a minute, info. Chance to hit, cool. Uh, what about the actual damage? Harden, so crystals have a minus 60 crit chance just because of what they are. Okay. Good. Um, I no target. I wonder if that means there is no chrysalid interrogation. I kind of forgot that, that might be a thing. Oh, I'll get the kill then. 
Ooh, got a promotion. Yay. Blue move. Then reload. Even if we were to overwatch here in case the Thin Man is over here, that wall is directly in the way, so it's not going to work. Okay, so you're at full. You were revealed on, like, this square or something, so let's just put you here for now. Put you here. And overwatch just to be safe. You're up here, so uh, let's see that. Might not reveal then. I'm gonna play it real safe and put you here. Just avoid that entire little area. I didn't see it pop up. God. What happened there is that I uh, right-clicked to move, but because there's a little bit of a shift when you, uh, with where you are, like there's a little bit of a 3D verticality to each tile, it actually slipped off onto the wrong tile. So instead of full cover, he has no cover. Yay! Reload. I guess you're going up here then. Don't reveal any aliens. Thank you. You know, for the same reason, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> You're reloaded, so... This is mostly a question of what angle we want here, because it was off to this side with a thin man in full cover, and then off to this side with a... I genuinely forget the name of that enemy, but it's the disc here, and there might also be a thin man over here now. I said we move all the way up just so that you're closer. Slash can move into a better position more easily. One more turn of setup here. If I block this off entirely, no one can go through. I'm going to elect that the disc is more important, so actually this is a good uh, shot for that, I think. In that case, I'm going to move you over here so that we have a good shot in this direction as well. No reveal. Good. Okay. Come up over here. Enemy troops. God damn it. This was had to happen eventually. Reload you. Everyone else gets overwatched. By all means, try to come out of try to come out of hiding. It'd be hilarious if it actually done that thing. Its movements are so inconsistent. That's bad. That's bad. You know what? I'm going to show you why this is bad. I hope I'm wrong. Start with the heavy, actually, just because of the heat rounds. Other heavy. Nailed him. That's why it's bad. Fuckers explode when they die. Okay, so we're looking for 2-2, two, two, the, whatever the latest timestamp is. Oh god, the, the scroll on this is so weird. Can I do it this way? Yes, I can. Yeah, purple bell. 2115, sure? 
And we have 2104 just in case. Nope. Command. Low game. 2104. Whatever you just did seems to have stirred up the hornet's nest. The aliens are going to throw everything they've got at us to protect that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, 2136. Yes, there it is. Okay, I'm so glad that I was able to find it. Whatever you just did seems to have stirred up the hornet's nest. I reloaded. are going to throw everything they've got at us to protect that ship. Okay, now the real question here is, what is the range of the explosion? It looked like it was probably two tiles. So, the two heavy shots were enough. Just, you move the fuck away. Uh, sure, cover. This is the real unfortunate one, actually, because I'm not going to be able to do anything with the sniper. Oh, fuck you. So got yellow moves on you? Yes. Fuck you in particular. God damn it, that's why you don't shoot in the opposite direction, my dude. Okay, I cannot use uh, the arc thrower here. Let's move you here. You back to here. And shoot. Okay, you're currently at full health at 10. You're at full health at eight, seven. Okay, all full health except you are two down. Should you be too dead or whatever? Does anyone take damage? No. Good. Overwatch. 93%. I said fuck you in particular. Overwatch. I mean, given that we had a rocket walk in on top of us, I kind of feel like we did okay there. And I also feel like we might... Oh, it's called a cyber disc, okay. I also feel like we might take damage if we do that. Huh. Let's give that a turn or two and go out, actually. Roger. I've got my eyes on. There's something here. Probably should have seen that coming. Guess what, asshole? My god, it actually worked. Cool. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, we literally can't go through. That causes a blockage. God damn it. <laughs> Everyone, go around the other way. That is actually the worst possible square that could have happened on. Especially on retreat, I'm not expecting new aliens. It's about to heat up over there, Strike One. X-rays are making their way to your position. Ancients, you get poisoned. Oh, yeah, you do. Cool. I, on the one hand, it's overwatched. On the other hand, it's at a lower elevation that far away. And I don't care that much. Uh, switch you back to your sniper so I don't forget that. Air, I'm dashing. Please take your shot. No? Okay, then the entire area is safe. That actually is why I'm dashing, by the way, is to try to trigger it while reducing the enemy's shot chance. Scanning. 
I fear put her on Overwatch because uh, she's closest. She's the most likely to be able to actually kill the Sectoid if it does anything. Putting your ass out in the open doesn't feel great, so let's put you in half cover at least. There is technically an active enemy at the moment. Oh. I was about to take some tea, but no. Is the heavy? Yes. I just imagine that sectoid is just waiting there, just confused as all hell as to what's happening. Not even bothering with overwatches here, just just run. A technically wrong tile, but only one off. Yeah, even you go ahead and run. Overwatch? No? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Go ahead and open the door. Don't wait for everyone to be grouped up. Okay, so we know we got a sectoid right over here. There's probably going to be a spawn right over here at some point. You have not reloaded yet. Shit. Yeah, you have to breach with someone. Yep. That's a hit. Three damage. Are you panicked? No, okay. <laughs> Can't quite arc throw her. Cool. Okay, that's the last of the known aliens, at least. Uh, we can see over here, so we actually know there's nothing left in this room. As much as we can know anything. Go ahead and get everyone in here. Reload slash Overwatch as applicable. Yeah, some kind of cover. Over. Yeah, let's get you. Let's get you in here, even just so you have better angles. And just let's just have you. Oh god, battle scanner. Here. Let's just absolutely be able to see everything in this room. Scanning target area now. Neat. And shockingly, no aliens. Cool. Okay, so there's definitely nothing in this room. There is a higher level to this room, actually, isn't there? Like a thin man, a thin man went up here or something before. Meh, whatever. Okay, if you go over here, because you can trigger this. The power conduit is disabled, but you've got three more to go. Then just have you run back over here so you're still with the group. Everyone else, blue moves, uh, followed by Overwatch, just to be safe about this. I'll handle it. Because turning off one of those conduits, I feel like, is a call to spawn. Overwatch. Uh, a call for an enemy pod to spawn. So let's just make sure that we can overwatch that pod as it shows up. Overwatch. I am the overwatch. You guessed it, boys and girls. There it is. We've got hostiles inbound. Stay frosty. Six overwatches. Sure, or five. Surely. I saw three pop up, so I think one of them hit. Is it the laser sniper? No, it was the regular sniper. Good for you. Also, there's a... Oh, it goes up here. Okay. Forgot about that. I'm not sure I've ever utilized that ramp. Huh. Anyway, start having the heavies post up here, because this is where we're going to breach through to the final room. Uh, 
Uh, I was gonna have you uh, dash up here, but I, but then I remembered the wonky line of sight that you can get. Let's go ahead and not accidentally have one person discover an alien and then have an entire pod after our very uh, separated squad. I'll handle it. Roger that. Scan. Come on. Oh, probably should have uh, reloaded. Whoops. Okay, I remember it for the snipers at least. Rock and roll. You know what, sure, even one bullet down, go ahead and reload. You want Rock full ammo going into the final fight here. Not for any particular reason, just as just as good practice. That's another conduit down. You only need to deactivate two more. Anyone? No? Overwatch. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Since we know there is going to be a spawn, let's go ahead and overwatch right, with both standing. snipers. Reload. Overwatch. Move up. Overwatch. Move up. Overwatch. That op zone is about to get hot. Hostiles are inbound to your location. Single sectoid? Cool. Oh. Uh, wait, can we shoot at that one? <laughs> See you in hell. Oh, he killed one of them, apparently. Uh, well, that was a lot of hell. That is not good. That was two for that? No, I saw four pop up. Okay, so we saw what looked like a, like, like it was probably a chrysalid show up here. I didn't see the exact health amount. Uh, I just saw that it was a decent amount. Ideal might have been to uh, have the snipers over here first, but whatever. Thus far, it hasn't been difficult enough to warrant super optimal play. That being said, I will reload you. Overwatch. I will overwatch a lot of them and move the snipers into position now. And we'll see how that goes. Heads up, strike one. We're picking up some strange readings Utah. for your okay. zone. Keep an eye out for hostile forces. Goodbye. <laughs> You're out in the open and I have a lot of overwatch. I have one overwatch. But I have more than that. Okay, uh... You actually still don't have a promotion, so just go ahead. Okay, we still have the Muton over here, and that doesn't feel great. Uh, we could send a rocket. You with squad sight could actually be really helpful. Okay, you know what? A uh, little bit of a sacrificial lamb scenario, but let's try this. Hi. I cannot keep assault. God damn. Wait, who's panicked? Oh, that's bad. Okay. I fucked up. Live with it. damage. You can now see the muton. Don't have that good of an, of an arm, apparently. That looks like it might hit. That looks like it should hit. It occurs, me, it occurs to me that I could have done that before, actually, and I'm pretty sure that doing damage like that would uh, remove Overwatch. Whoops. Don't 
just gonna switch over to pistol and overwatch. Uh, it actually does kind of upset me that I lost another assault, but it is also again. Shut up. Be ready for hostile forces coming your way. It is also again due to my own stupidity. Got to it down. Only one more to go. Take that out and the ship is ours. Oh good, you're back. Kinda of forgot about that. Kinda of forgot that you were panicking there. Okay, I was gonna I was hoping I might be able to get like all the way over here and uh just finish the mission now. Obviously not gonna happen, so go ahead and just overwatch whenever possible. We're kinda of just pumping out damage here at this point, not worrying too much about defense. Yeah, sure, sniper. Okay, kind of thought you'd do more. Start with this. Okay, we can press that next turn, and theoretically that ends the mission. In fact, there's another door here. Oh, wait, no, that's the edge of the map. Yes, that's the end of the mission then. Just to have, just to make absolutely sure that I'm accounting for stuff. Okay, press the button. Nicely done, Commander. That ship is now officially under XCOM control. Although I don't think it will fit in the hangar. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, lost another assault. Gained an alien battleship. I'd say learn from my lessons, but at this point, the lesson is take three snipers or something. <laughs> we better get some fucking alloys out of that. <sighs> Corporal. Oh, Corporal is like the second. Oh, right, because you're the assault, you aren't leveled up. And the main heavy is wounded for nine days. Okay. And the secondary support has been, up has been upgraded to captain. That's actually at least in line with our primary support. Wait, what? Is this our primary support? I should probably name them better. Anyway. Effective uh, smoke grenades, increased effective area. And confer or and further increased defense by 20. Smoke grenades now contain powerful stimulants that grant uh, plus 20 will and plus 10% crit chance for all units in the cloud. I actually prefer this because it's just a larger area and more defense, and I use smoke grenades for, for I use the smoke grenades for defense. This just doesn't feel like as much of an upgrade. Like 20 will, I don't have a great idea of what that actually means. I, I know that mechanically it technically means that they are less likely less likely to be panicked and can resist psionic attacks more or something to that effect. Plus 10 crit chance, I do not want to rely on. If that's actually making a difference, then oh boy, I should probably be playing better. Okay. New research, Fusion Lance, which is a um, uh, uh, interceptor upgrade. Guided Fusion Launcher, I think it's also an interceptor upgrade. UFO Power Source, Cyber Disk Autopsy, we can autopsy the cyber disc, yes. <laughs> we got nine sectoid, six thin men, a muton, a cyber disc, chrysalid, 304 illyrium, 508 alloys, 35 weapon fragments, six UFO flight computers, five UFO power sources, and two fusion cores. I think fusion cores are needed for the uh, upgraded interceptors. So yeah, that's why you really want to make sure to do this mission. You get a lot out of it. Operation Purple Bell, Council Transmission. The cache of new technology and supplies we retrieved from the battleship should provide you with additional options when directing XCOM's future moves. Also, two scientists and two engineers. Remember, we will be watching. Okay, after that little bit more of an extended episode, that is going to go ahead and do it for the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and deal with that YouTube stuff here a million times. I hope you have a wonderful many of your day, and I hope to see you in the next one, where we'll be back on Monday with more XCOM, and... 
I'll finally be able to do more stuff, because I'll have the resources to do stuff. Yeah, that's it for that. See you in the next one. Bye.